Nargus really was Fatima Rashid, but known by her screen name Nargus. Nargus was born on June 1, 1929. She was known to be the greatest actress in the history of Hindi film industry. She was born on June 1, 1929. She was known to be the greatest actress in the history of Hindi film industry. Her father, Abdul Rashid, was originally a wealthy Brahmin from Rawalpindi, Pakistan, migrated to India. Her mother was Jadan Bhai, a well-known Hindustani classical singer and one of the early pioneers of Indian cinema. Nagus's family then moved to Allahabad from West Punjab. She introduced Nagus into the movie culture unfolding in India at the time. Now we are stepping into her filmy career. She made her screen debut as a child in Tala Shehak in 1935, but her acting career began in 1942 with Tamana. During a career that spanned from the 1940s to the 1960s, Nargis appeared in numerous commercially successful as well as critically appreciated films, many of which featured her alongside actor Raj Kapoor. She was the younger sister of the well-known actor Anwar Hussain. Nargis appeared in numerous films after her debut. She won lasting fame for her later added roles, starting with at the age of 14 in Mahabub Khan's Takdir in 1943, Heroines to Motilal. She starred in many popular Hindi films of the late 1940s and 1950s, such as Barsad, Andas, Avara, Dida, Shri 420, and Chori Chori. She appeared in Mahabub Khan's Oscar nominated rural drama Mother India in 1957, for which she won the Filmfare Best Actress Award for her performance. Babu Rao Patel of the film magazine Film India in December 1957 described Mother India as the greatest picture produced in India and wrote that no other actress would have been able to perform the role as well as Nargis. Now we are stepping into her personal life. Nargis had a long-term relationship with actor Raj Kapoor, who was her co-star in the films Avara and Sri 420. Raj Kapoor was married and had children. After he refuses to divorce his wife, Nargis entered their long-year relationship. Nargis married actor Sunil Dutt from Jhelum, British India on March 11, 1958. Reportedly, that had saved her life from a fire on the sets of Mother India. She converted to Hinduism and changed her legal name to Nirmala Dutt after they married on 11 March 1958. Three children were born from their union, Sanjay, Namrada and Priya. Sanjay went on to become a successful film actor, Namrada who married actor Kumar Gaurav, son of veteran actor Rajendra Kumar who had appeared alongside Nargus and Sunil Dutt in Mother India. Priya became a politician and a member of parliament Lok Sabha. With her husband, Nargis formed the Agenda Arts Cultural Troupe, which involved several leading actors and singers of the time and performed at remote frontiers to entertain the Indian soldiers at border. It was the first troupe to perform in Dhaka after the liberation war of Bangladesh in 1971. Later, Nargis worked for the cause of plastic children. She became the first patron of the Plastic Society of India. Her charitable work for the organization got her recognition as the social worker. Stepping into her last moment, Nagas was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and underwent treatment for the disease at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. Upon her return to India, her condition deteriorated and she was admitted to Breach Candy Hospital in Bombay. She went into a coma on 2nd May 1981 and died the next day. Less than a week after her death, on 7th May 1981, at the premiere of her son's debut film Rocky, one seat was kept vacant for her. Nargis was buried at Marine Lines in Bombay, a street in Bandra, so that Mumbai was renamed Nargis Dad Road in her memory.